So, why are engagement surveys so important? Because they predict corporate performance and corporate valuation. And when people have what they need to do a good job, the company flourishes. And uh, when company flourishes, the corporate stock goes up. It's that simple. So why is this news? It takes a uh, tailored index to measure it. Uh, all the standard indices, uh, they're made out of survey issue, this or that. They just don't cut it. Uh, they, they can predict some of corporate performance, but they can't predict uh, corporate stock. What you're saying is that engagement surveys can um, predict corporate stocks. Yeah, not all of it, of course, um, but, uh, but it can predict some of the variation in corporate stock, enough of it. The companies that have a uh, shrinking index um, have, uh, still have a growing value of corporate stock by the end of the year after. Um, 9% more by the end, end of the year after. Uh, the companies that have a growing index have a, a, a growth in 24, of 24% in corporate stock uh, value by the end of the year after. Uh, 9 versus 24% does, does, perhaps doesn't sound that exciting, but imagine, imagine I had a million uh, to invest uh, in 2004. Um, but, um, that million uh, by now would have become a million and a half. But if I'd invested in uh, the companies with a growing uh, index, that million would have been one, two, and very, very close to three million by now. So um, one and a half versus three million, that's how big the difference actually is. The, uh, the information that you get it actually comes from companies and you're doing like employment, employee surveys and stuff like that. Is it, you know, allowed? Well, it, it, one could imagine uh, that this would be uh, considered inside inf information. And in a way it should because uh, the information I've got will give me a huge uh, in information advantage over other traders. Um, but then I've talked to the finance inspection and, and they've said that, no, this is not a classified type of information, so it's allowed. When you think about, you know, engagement surveys, we could probably get access to some engagement surveys on the internet or other places. Yeah. You know, um, what is it so, so special about this kind of um, mm. survey that you're talking about? Well, uh, imagine, the, imagine the type of information that you get is normally an, a standard index, which is based on a standard amount of questions. Uh, is your manager a good manager, et cetera, et cetera? Does, he, does your manager respect you? And that's kind of like taking one of these uh, shapes and, and using it everywhere. It sort of, uh, I suppose, it can sort of work, but it's not ideal. Um, and that's why that kind of index fails to, pre to predict corporate, uh, the value changes of the, of the stock value. Whereas um, a tailored index works so much cleaner. Uh, so that's why uh, it takes a tailored index to get this. And if you're going to like summarize this whole thing, you know, um, and say, you know, what the benefits are of this particular thing, what would you say? Well, uh, I'm proving the financial value of engagement surveys. Although it takes a tailored index to, to do it, it's still uh, it shows how important it is that people have what they need to do a good job every day at work. Great, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.